I'm Andrea Bouget from Aroma Head Institute, and I want to show you a couple of great uses for orange essential oil. I love orange. Actually, you can probably tell from the color of the walls in my kitchen. It's so bright and juicy and uplifting, energizing, such a great oil. So our first use is going to be in an inhaler, and I'm going to use orange and bergamot mint. Now, bergamot mint is not bergamot. It's a totally different oil. Have you ever used it? It smells like a mint with citrus tones. It's beautiful. It's an herb, and it is a beautiful balance with orange from an aromatic perspective, and also from this will be very uplifting if you're feeling anxious or sad or even just depleted. This is a great inhaler to use if you feel like you have a cold coming on or you just uh, have some allergies. This is a great inhaler. So I'm using this fun type of inhaler that has this beautiful purple cover and I'm taking both pieces off the top and bottom which protect it. And then you've got a glass vial and a top that has holes in it where you'll be able to inhale the oil. So I unscrew the top and we've got our glass vial. And then I have a nice organic cotton wick. I'm so glad we now have organic cotton wicks. It took a long time to find these. So you can just stick it right in there. And then if you know your recipe, you can just drop it right in here. So easy. So I'm going to use 10 drops of orange and put it right into this little glass vial. Orange comes out fast. Nine, ten. And um, that's because it's very light and thin. And so I've got my ten drops in there. And then I'm going to put five drops of the bergamot mint. It's a beautiful aromatic combination. And I think you're going to really enjoy smelling this. So five drops. And there it comes. Five. Good. All right. Let's close this up. And then I'm going to put the top back on to protect it and screw it right back on. Mm, so good. And then I'm going to stick it into its little case, top and bottom. So now I can carry it around safely, easily. It won't leak or anything. And when I'm ready to use it, top just pops off. And it's great. I love it. I often have one of these in my back pocket. All right. Our next blend is very simple and very delicious. It's coconut made in coconut oil. And I already put the coconut oil into this little glass one ounce jar. And I am simply going to add 10 drops of orange to the coconut oil. And the number of drops here is flexible. Uh, 10 drops might be plenty for you. You might want to add 15 drops. It's really up to you in terms of how you feel smelling it and using it. This is such a nice blend or, of, of coconut oil and orange. 9, 10. I was trying to talk and drop it, count the drops at the exact same time. So I'm going to grab a little stirring rod. This one's a calla lily. So fun. I love fun little stirring rods. And I'm just going to blend the orange into the coconut oil. Now, this is fabulous if your belly is bothering you, if you, you, know, you ate too much, or you're just kind of feeling off in terms of your digestion, or you have tension in your belly. Um, this is a perfect blend and you don't need a lot, you know, coconut oil, you don't need a lot. And you can just rub it on your, your belly and low back. That's perfect. Also, oh, that smells so good. Also, this is great for muscle tension. So you could rub a little bit of this on your shoulders or your low back or your legs. If you're having cramps or muscle tension, it's perfect. It's also just a beautiful moisturizer. Coconut oil is so nice on your skin and it's very uplifting and you will smell so good. Mm. I hope you enjoy that. Lastly, we're going to make a foam soap. I have a little small foam soap container. This one's nice for travel. I always bring foam soap with me when I travel. And 
This one's uh, 40 mils. 50 mils? 50 mils. This is 50. And I'm going to fill it most of the way with the Castile soap, just leaving a little bit of room so when I press this down, the soap doesn't come bursting out the top. Okay, so this is a big gallon of Castile soap because I use it all the time. I use it at my I use it at my sink in a bigger foam soap container. I use it in the bathroom. I use it for cleaning, so I always buy it by the gallon. But it's a little hard to pour from a whole gallon into a little tiny container, so I just have a nice um, beaker that I'm using for pouring. I like this one because it has a really refined pouring tip. It's actually a coffee um, beaker from Bodum, and I bought it just to use for this. All right, so I'm gonna pour this in and fill it you know, three quarters of the way like that. That'll be perfect. And then I'm going to put in my drops of orange essential oil. And I'm just gonna use orange in this, but you are welcome to add other essential oils into here too. Like we could add the bergamot mint in here as well, or other citruses. I'm gonna put in 20 drops of orange. It's gonna smell really yummy and strong. Five. There's 10. 15 and 20. All right, the orange cooperated very nicely with me today. So now I can just put the top on and give it a little shake so the essential oil mixes up with the soap. And then, you know, this is so nice. I can, I can have one of these with me as I travel around. Even if you have a bag or a backpack that you take with you during the day and you don't like using the harsher soaps in uh, where you work or in restaurants or places where you're out, you can have this with you. And there's our foam soap. Isn't that nice? It smells so good. I'm going to go wash my hands right now. See you later.